Hi ladies, I just wanted to do a quick video on some of the um, creations that I've been making, the tutorials that I did earlier um, in previous posts. Uh, I've been completing in these for a swap that I'm hosting on scrapbook.com. So I just wanted to show some of the finishing products because I know I was working pretty fast when I was doing the tutorials. So right now I'm going to do the uh, clothes pins. And I'm just going to show some of the ones that I that I completed, and um, just spend some time with showing the different things that you can do. Now, um, this paint is actually um, some homemade glimmer mist that I made, and I make mine majorly with either food coloring or some of the I think it's folk art paint. And I use their metallic to get the the shimmer. I don't know if you can catch it on on the um, the camera, but um, so I just glimmer mist it um, this. But actually, I found it easier. I sprayed I sprayed it first, but I was wasting my spray in my shimmer box. So what I did was I poured some in my little. Um, let me grab this in one of my little uh, ceramic paint bowls that I use. I just poured some in. And then I used the paintbrush, and I got in all the uh, the grooves and stuff. And then I was finished the the excess. I just poured back in my uh, glimmer mist bottle. But so anywho, um, I believe this um, crochet flower was sent to me as a hostess gift. I want to say by Stephanie. If it wasn't Stephanie, I'm sorry. But whoever sent me this as a hostess gift, thank you. Turned out really really cute. I had this. I think this came off of one of my daughter's blouses. It's a button. A silver and metal button and then some little pearl hearts that I had in my stash um, this one is one of the ones where I spray painted it black I used some spray paint that I had in my stash I'm not sure why I got this fan um, it looks like it's a it's metal gold it looks like it was a fan so I just um, spray painted the whole thing black hot glued that down and I had a metal uh, I mean a black rhinestone that I put here and this is a piece of a chain that I have in my bead um, collection that I just cut to fit um, on here and I figured that to me I like that just like that and this one I wanted to do somewhat of a little theme so I had these little bubbles that I hadn't used in a while I used them on a low and I still had some left over and this is just a little glittery uh, foam fish shape and the same thing with this this is some uh, homemade glimmer mist that I put in a bowl and um, I painted and some of the natural wood clothes pins has the dark uh, brown and at first I was trying to pick out all the ones that didn't have it but then I actually liked how it gave it a little bit more contrast with the two different colors so that's another one and this one again Homemade glimmer mist that I try to duplicate like vintage photo or you know something antique looking so um, did the same thing uh, painted it um, this is a leftover um, cardstock die cut I don't remember what I what it was from but then some a couple of little pink heart rhinestones to match the the flower um, this one same glimmer mist this was a leftover uh, ice cream cone that I made with my e-craft and um, so I just you know put it together and put a little bow on it and that's pretty much it for that one I wanted to try to keep these kind of simple because I don't want it to overpower whatever someone puts it on but just add a little bit to it and this one I'm trying to make it so it doesn't shine too much but in the middle of this Sun it says fun in the Sun and then it's a foam Sun behind it and this is a, a metal Sun and these I got from uh, Michael's recollection I cut part of it off because it was kind of like this long I believe and then I cut it to suit and again homemade glimmer mist only this one I didn't put any shimmer in it this is just uh, I think just food coloring and water in a spray bottle so but that was that one and this one 
homemade glimmer mist this one does have shimmer to it but i was shocked that i had this paint in my stash and this ribbon and did not know this whole time that they matched perfectly so um but this is just a sticky ribbon it has like a velour in the middle right here and some sheer um pleated ribbon so I took um, just a bow. It's already pre. I did not tie this bow. <laughs> it was bought like this. And then I took a string of pearls and, you know, kind of tried to tie that in with that. Hot glued everything on. Yes, everything I do is hot glue when it comes to these things. Now this one, you can't really tell, but some spots you can but this is another one of my homemade glimmer mist but it's a lavender so it's a really light purple um almost look pinkish but it on this clothespin it looks um what do you call it like a water wash or what have you but a couple of um brown jewels brown and pink flower with the lavender center that's that one and i'm going to talk really really quick this one I got out of one of my kits from Scraps of Darkness. Um, I forget who makes it, but I made the antennas with some of my vintage uh, gold um, jewelry making uh, head pins. I cut the heads off, twirled it, put some rhinestones. Now, I do believe these rhinestones came from TJ Crafty, which, thank you, this was a part of the uh, April, no, March belly swap. But so another vintage photo painted one with a butterfly and rhinestones. I think I'm going to leave this one like this too. And then I have this one that just is a silver star that says party. Three little rhinestones. Again, all of them were painted with my glimmer mist except for the black one which was spray paint. And then last but not least, this one is another party one that I think I'm going to send with whoever I send the the other one because it's the same color and kind of the same theme um, this is actually one of those shiny uh, stickers and a clear purple and yellow rhinestone to match the stripes on the uh, the party hat and that's pretty much it for now uh, the next video I'll do is showing the um, the altered paper clips that I finished. Thanks for watching.